For all the latest from the world of motoring, hit that subscribe button and stay connected. When it comes to the 150cc performance segment, there has been only one machine that can be named king. And this machine has retained the spot for the last 10 years. Yes, the Yamaha R15 showed us that less can be fun as well. And now we have the version 3 that takes the game even more forward. We first rode the R15 V3 at the track in Chennai and were blown away by how Yamaha could improve on what was already a wonderful machine. But while the track experience was amazing, it was finally when we got it on the road that things really fell into perspective. While the name just receives a number change, a lot of small things has changed on this machine right from how it looks to how it breathes and powers up. The reworked engine which has a slightly bigger bore and a small bump in cubic capacity has made it even more exciting at low revs. Combine this with the short initial gear ratios and the variable valve setup, you now have an engine that has enough torque at lower revs and surprisingly even at higher revs. And unsurprisingly, it also has a larger intake for it to breathe better. It's all fun and games with this engine, but there is one place the V3 engine has lost a bit of its charm. And that is in the refinement department. Compared to the previous generation machines, this one is a small step down. But one number that has gone up is the mileage. We steadily got about 38 to the liter, even with a heavy throttle hand. As if to show off, Yamaha has made the handling of the R15 V3 even better. The shorter rake angle and the resulting slightly reduced wheelbase has made this machine even more nimble than before. It now turns in better and feels lighter even though it's actually a couple of kgs heavier. The riding position is now more committed than earlier but still is comfortable for riders of all heights. But that is as long as you are on good roads and not stuck in crawling traffic. In these not so perfect conditions, the riding position is no longer your friend. But when those RPMs are high and when you want to have some fun, there are very few machines out there that come close. Crouch down, you have enough space to move around and when those corners arrive, they disappear faster than ever on the V3. The braking has always been good on the R15 and it remains so with the V3. We have good control and feel over what's happening where the rubber meets tarmac. ABS is definitely something that should have come in by now and we can expect it in the next few months. The MR front tyre for some reason felt a bit spongy but was good in terms of grip offered. Also for the moments when you want to brake hard and downshift fast, the precise gearbox now also has an assist and slipper clutch to make life easier while going fast. Now while we are mighty impressed with the R15 V3 on the whole, there are bits that let it down as well. We already talked about the refinement, but another area where the V3 has been shown less love from Yamaha is when it comes to overall fit and finish. It's not bad in any way, but it's definitely not what we've been used to from Yamaha. On the flip side, we are big fans of the new fully digital instrument console that has a lot of information and customization.
the Yamaha R15 V3 always had a tough job to do. It had to take something that was very near to perfection and improve on it. It now looks better than ever before and its performance and handling has also gone up a notch. But is it perfect? In our books, it comes very very close. Never stay down.